Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Professional YouTuber over here. Not really. Ugh. Hello, everybody. My name is Dustin, and welcome back to the StarCraft II mutation this week. This is Dead of Night, the Quick and the Dead. Uh, just as a heads up, this is actually pre-recorded. I decided... Well, my younger brother was like, hey, let's play some. He was level 11 Karaks. I'm like, are you sure you want to do that? Because I don't know. That'd be a good idea. You're not level 15. But well, like, yeah, we'll get into it. I'm also at this current time looking up to see what week number it is because it's been a couple of weeks since I last tried one of these. The last one I tried was week, week 110. And uh, I don't think that was the last uploaded video, sadly. But... Um, let me, let me get this pulled up real quick. I'm also going to cut out some of the stuff because it was about a 30-minute mission. 30 minutes real life, by the way. Uh, so it was like 30 minutes, 50 seconds, or 31 minutes. I don't know, something like that. Um, they also, I'm looking at the forum right now. I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can check it out. But I see an hour ago it says an, a co-op mission update, Abathur revamp, and there's a couple other ones. Um, is this one? Okay, so this is this week. Okay, so it's mutation mission number week number 116. They already have released the next one, actually. So we'll see what happens. I, I don't know. Um, like I had mentioned, though, we're going to be doing this. Uh, like I said, this one's completely different. I'm going to try not to talk over much uh, of the stuff that's going on just because it'd be kind of cool to just kind of immerse myself into it. Like I said, it's completely new. This is a new way of trying to do this, and I haven't actually done this before. I've thought about doing videos like this before where I just record it and then just watch it back and then edit it, but it seems like it's like five steps just to do one, so I, I don't know. I don't think... I think I'll probably do this every once in a while, maybe just to StarCraft Mutation missions, but I don't know. And here we go into it. So, right off the bat, I didn't have music enabled, so I enabled music. Um, what we're going to do... Well, hang on a second. Not enough minerals. Listen up, Commanders. We've got a serious level of infestation here, and we need to burn it out stat. These monsters are dangerous at night, but they burn out during the day. That's when we'll torch the infested structures. Chrono boost online. I might just keep it all unedited for the most part. Not enough minerals. Because, I don't know, I, I, we'll try to see what I can do. Maybe I can kind of keep it inter interesting. So basically what it says here, it says, Amon's forces have weaponized a particularly virulent strain of infestation. They're infested move at frightening speed and rapid, rapidly pro proliferate disease. Wow. A lot of large words there. Hallucinogens, big word there too, in their blood can cause hysteria in even the most stalwart warriors, beat back the fear and burn out the infested. So they have speed freaks, enemy units move... Their units have doubled their normal movement speed. You may have seen my mouse hover over it at one point. I can't remember if it did. Um, that's the thing on the bottom, the right over there. And I'll do it in the end. Dustin, do that right there. See that? Okay. Next one right above it, that thing right there, Black Plague. Some enemy units carry a plague that deals damage over time and spreads to other nearby units. The plague spreads to your units when the enemy unit is killed. And they slowly take damage over time. Um, it says here, all enemy units have a 33% chance, so one-third of all units essentially have the Black Plague. Players' units that carry this plague will lose 2% of their max HP per second until they die. When all infected units die, players or Amons, it will spread to three random players' units within five range. Fear was the third mutator in the editor data, but I guess they removed it. Wow, I didn't know that. And Sukov's bunkers and Karak's repair beam both outheal the plague. That's interesting. Anyway, so at this point, I'm gonna set my phone down. So at this point, we're just. My bad, sorry, Morales. My bad. I like to talk over everybody. So at this point, it's like, okay, we got to start getting some things. I told my brother ahead of time we need to get at least two walls defended by the end of the first night, and maybe all four by the second night. That might be a bit of a stretch, but we'll try it. So now it's nighttime. Thanks, Morales. You're such a doll. Not just no. Okay, that's that's not a bad joker. Watch it. Those units are moving fast, by the way. So, if you've never played this mission before, 
Thanks for explaining it before I get a chance, Morales. Jerk. Anyways, uh, so that's what Jokers do. They they pull in some of your units, and then they slowly drain their health points down to the dead, unless you kill it in time. If you kill it before your units die, then obviously they are released and they're fine. Lots of infested, but I think that shield battery should be able to hold it. Yep, it's able to hold it. Adds more photon cannons. Lots of photon cannons going on here. I actually will admit I do like the way that this is. I like being able to talk over it like this. This is actually pretty cool. So I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and just attack. Hopefully get this huge this huge wave of them. Nope, didn't even get to them. I'm like, okay, might need to add more units. I'm going to try not to use Zagara as much just because um, I don't want her getting the plague and stuff. And I do apologize. It's even difficult for me to try to keep up with this just because I, when I'm in the zone, I'm in the zone, you know. It's kind of hard to, to keep up with it. So let's go ahead and add down another evolution chamber and the... I already forgot what it's called. Scourge Nest, that's the one. So he also gives me a heads up for every time that he does a chrono, and I always tell him thank you because that's the way that I roll. I always appreciate and thank those that help me to know what the heck is going on, just as a little friendly reminder, like, hey, just so you know, I'm about to chrono. Boom. Chrono. So getting a couple more overlords because we're running out of supply there. I'm trying to mass Baneling and I made a mistake there. You may have seen it. I actually accidentally used E, which is the the rush ability. I, I don't know what it's actually called, but yeah. look, all I know is I know what hotkey to hit when I need to hit it. That's all I'm concerned with. <laughs> it's the frenzy. That's the one it is. Mass frenzy. Um, I accidentally hit it because I was trying to get more Banelings. It's the same hotkey. So I'm like, hey, dude, we need to defend this over here. He he didn't actually, I asked him afterwards, why didn't you see that ping? And I'm like, well, it's probably because you're too busy trying to build up the other wall. I knew I pinged before the end of the first day anyways, or first night. So now it's like, okay, let's continue to keep building up. Let's get an overseer, maybe two overseers. Look at those bandlings. That looks nice. They're just like fanned out like a solar array or something. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So we're just gonna get everybody out there, but we're trying. I'm trying to keep Zagara on the outside of it. I, I get more of a system later because this not just that. Not only is this a mutation, but it's also cold turkey, meaning that it's the first match me and him play. That's why the loading took forever. So now they're all just kind of sitting there. It's like you can explode them or you can enable structure attack. Let's do that and just wipe all the structures out. We're probably just going to continue to do this for the entire map, honestly, because it's the best way to be able to do this really quickly without losing permanent units anyways. Like Zagara is more of a permanent unit. Overseers are more of a permanent unit. I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't put them close. They got some plagues. So let's send them all the way up over there just to die and give them the mass frenzy boost. Send all back over there again. So put Zagara back in the base where she belongs, nice and safe, away from everybody else. Lots of Banelings just died there. Let's get our queen getting some larvae, or larva, larvae, larvae, whatever. And I'm like, let's start actually getting a couple more hatcheries because we could use the more, um, more unit production. So let's just build two more hatcheries up over there. Let's have Zagara stay right there where she belongs. Like a nice and safe place. In fact, I put her on hot key number two. That way I'll never send her out again. It'll just be all the units. So now my bro has been extending out the pylon range. And I'm like, oh, there's a couple units, a couple of banelings. Go get them. Or splinterlings? Splitterlings? Whatever they're called. I, again, not really great at the, uh, the... Great commentary, Dustin. Thanks, Dustin, you loser. So anyways, moving on. We're continuing to keep just massing up more units, getting more units, constantly trying to do as much damage as we possibly can throughout the day. The more damage that we're able to do in one day, the better. Get a bunch more banelings. Do what we can there. Now we gotta wait for more energy. Now another queen was dispersed. And then I realized, oh wait. I don't have another queen here in a second. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and... Oh, wait. No, that's not right. There's no queen. Okay, let's make another queen. <laughs> Again, it's kind of hard in the moment to do commentary. And I, for the most part, remember most of this. Like, I did this a couple of days ago. And I'm like, hey, uh, bro, you're, you're defending the wrong one, dude. We, we got to get this one right here, dude. 
And I know this kind of spoils some of it too. Like I understand why some people don't watch people like this, but they watch pre-recorded stuff. Excuse me, because I already know the outcome of this. I mean, I can always try to do one of these. Like at the very end, it actually goes south. I mean, it doesn't go well, and then completely troll you guys if I so chose. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you guys. Now would I? <laughs> Anyways. So let's just keep going with the Banelings. I realize maybe it's time to start actually doing some Scourge here in a minute. Just because. It might be good because when the enemy units start dropping in on us and stuff. I'd hate for that to happen. I made a couple without realizing maybe I should wait until it actually becomes cheaper to, to do them. Because they're 68. But once you upgrade that, they're actually 18. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing I started going with all the Scourge because now we have spotters that we have to deal with. And um, so I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and send some over here. You know, do some damage. Get rid of them. Stop them. There we go. Kill them all off. Starting to experience a little bit of lag. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to send them way over here because I know there's some air units. My brother actually afterwards, he's like, why did you send your Scourge up there to die all the time? I'm like, because there's air units up there and I'm using Mass Baneling. So it was, it was very difficult. Another couple of spotters. I'm like, okay, let's uh, let's get all our scourge here. I was trying to double click and it didn't work. I'm like, okay, let's. Any second now, there's a lot of spotters up over there looking at the mini map. Let's go ahead and get a couple more here. Okay, now they're starting to push, comes to shove. So let's let's go ahead and just throw a whole bunch of hydralisks in there. Move the overloads out of the way. Thankfully, Zagard did not get a black plague, but the two of the hunter killers or three of the hunter killers did actually, in fact, get it. That's fine though. Uh, there is one thing that slightly annoyed me throughout the entire time we were playing, which is actually one of his probes had gotten the Black Plague, or I think is what, what it is. And the entire time, you'll hear it here in a minute. There it is. It just keeps getting hit and hit and hit. You'll, you'll hear it more later on. It'll be really annoying. Oh, and the spotters, uh, I forgot to mention in case you haven't played this before, spotters are extremely annoying because they actually phase some of your buildings out of existence. And for Protoss, you never want your pylons to go down because all your buildings depend on your pylons. They're like a power supply. So when they go down, it's it's very right. difficult. We won't have enough time later if we destroy too few structures today. Okay, thanks, Morales. Uh, when your structures go down because of no power, it's very difficult. And if you look on the mini-map, there's units hitting the base up there while they're still going out the choke point over here. So it's like, you've got to be kidding me. This, this choke point's ridiculous. But then I'm like, okay, maybe group up. And then I'm like, oh, well, they got Black Plague. Let's just send them back to die. If they're going to die anyways. So let's just keep going. A lot. I actually killed the Swarm Host over there. I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but... Let's get more Zerglings. Maybe go out this side. Maybe this time would be a little bit better. Not too bad of a choke point anyways. Group them up a little bit before. There's the probe noise again. Super annoying. Um, maybe it'll be a little bit easier to just go ahead and get them all grouped up before starting to attack. But the only problem is they have already got the plague. It's ridiculous, man. I'm so glad that they got rid of fear on this because that would have been horrific. If it's two mutations, you, or two mutators, if you will, then I can see that working. I also don't know how exactly I messed up my rally point. Uh, my, I guess I may have had it like on a zergling or something, and it died. That's my only conclusion on that. I never have reviewed the tape enough. If I find, if I catch it in the editing process, I'll show you guys. But if not, don't hold it to me. Editing this is going to be fun, anyways, because I'm. Well, it just will be fun. It just will. <laughs> so let's get more units up here. Let's try to assault this area. We're trying to do as much collateral damage as we possibly can while we can. I probably could move Zagara out to maximize my damage, do as much as I can, but I'm like, yeah, I don't really care that much. I'd hate to extend the creep to, the oh my gosh, probe, shut up, dude. So noisy. Um, I could extend the creep out, but the problem with that is it would make it extremely... It would be make it more difficult because then the infested would be able to move faster. There goes all the roaches. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these these structures. I can't remember if I actually knock out the hatcher. I think I'd just go, yeah, let's go for it. And then just murder it. Because there's also a couple of lurkers. And lurkers do a lot of 
heavy damage to light units, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, then I'm... Oh, well. <laughs> uh, meeting... Oh, okay, here comes another Chrono. Tell him thank you. Well, maybe. We'll see. And I called it. I sent out all my units over there, and I'm like... Ooh, there's a Joker. I'm like, let's go after this Virophage. I also got the Lurker by exploding a couple of Banelings. So basically what this is, is it's just a structure that can be very devastating because it, it spawns a couple of units that are like Stukov's explosive units. And I'm like, at this point I'm like, uh-oh, dude, I need defenses. So I think fast here, light on my feet, get a couple of things going here, get some more larva. And then what I do is I get some Banelings over here. And look at all the red on the minimap, holy moly. So I'm like, I need defenses, quickly. So I just made a bunch of Zerglings. Surprisingly enough, this manages to do the trick. I know, spoiler alert and all, but you know, it's my own video. <laughs> like I'm spoiling a plot to some sort of movie show or something, you know? <laughs> so then he quickly rushes over, he starts building the fences, and I'm like, okay, that, thank you. My, my queen and Zagara have some fun pushing each other around a little bit. And then I'm like, okay, let's mess. I messed up my rally point again. Let's make it perfect again. I'm I'm not OCD about things. I swear. So I'm like, oh wait, what's going? Oh, Banelings. Okay, that's nice. Virophage is still alive, however. So now you you see that they started getting rid of the pylons over there. It's not good because it gets rid of the the photon cannons. Oh, what's that on the mini map? Our first new enemy. It's more like a mini boss at this point. It's actually. Where is it? There it is, a stank. So that thing is like an ultralisk on steroids. Hence why it's called a stank. I don't know what I did here. I was just like, you guys just go back and forth. Thank you. I guess it technically would be women because they're queens, but you know. I'm trying to be gender neutral about a lot of these because it's, it's all a video game anyways, you know. And at this point, I'm like, oh, shoot, they're right over my units. They're going to spread the plague to my drones. We're, we're done. This is the end. Or it's all over. We tried. We failed. We're done. And he manages to hit them a couple times, killing them all off. And then I noticed, oh, my units do have the plague. So let's try to move some of them off the mineral line here, try to save as much as I possibly can. Get the queen out of the way so she doesn't get infected. And I'm like, oh wait, all of my units here are right there, man. So then I notice, oh wait, there's a couple of couple of drones that don't have it. So let's try to save as much as we can. Try to be efficient about our time in our lives. Uh, this one has Black Plague. There's another one that was injured that doesn't have the Black Plague. So I'm like, let's just, guys, just go attack. That'd be nice. Make a couple more drones to replace those ones that we just got rid of. And then Zagara, move her out of the way, move the queen back over there. We're good again. Everything's kind of settled. Let's get all of our units grouped up again. And then baneling them up. And then the drones actually did a number on those structures. I'm a little surprised. I mean, one drone by itself, not really good. A couple of drones together, they're more powerful. The more drones you have, the better anyways. So I'm like, okay, let's group everybody up outside the wall. Let's actually be smart and tactical about this. And I notice, okay, some units have the plague. Let's go ahead and start attacking. Throw them all to the wolves. There's a hybrid that goes down pretty quickly, actually. I moved away right before it died, but whatever. So now get rid of like all the buildings. Let's run all the way back. There's a lurker that's just sniping them all. Um, there is, however, one building up there that I missed. You can see it on the mini map. I didn't notice at the time that I missed a building. I'm like, oh shoot. A little while later I noticed, oh shoot, I, I missed that building, my bad. I think it's like right about here anyways. There's that probe again. Make all that noise. So now we got a bunch of Scourge in here. Let's get rid of the larvae on here, add them to control group number one. Let's get them all to attack, but the Scourge will move over to here. I'm like, I want to attack because I want to get rid of the air units, but at the same time they have a couple of spore colonies and that probably wouldn't be the best idea. So I'm like, okay, let's send some Zerglings up here because apparently I missed that building, you know, whatever. And then send them back over to there. These guys, or girls, I don't know what they are. I don't know the, the sex of any Zerglings or anything. I really don't. I don't plan to ever know either. That's the, that's the beauty part about that. 
So I noticed, okay, one, one drone. Okay, let's move them over. You know, it's no big deal. Go, Scourge, attack. Delivered a death strike. Are you sure about that? So, now it's like, okay, now I'm going to let them all just die off. Whatever's out there is out there. They'll have to die off. All the Banelings just go to town over there. And focus on making more Banelings. And what I'm a little surprised with, obviously, um, for those of you who may not know, it's called RNG, Random Number Generator. It can be a pain. So sometimes some of the enemies that spawn, like some of the mini-bosses and stuff when they spawn, sometimes you get some really interesting combinations. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But it's it's really difficult to, to try to keep up when the game is just completely stacking everything against you. It's very difficult. And at this point, he started losing some structure, so I'm like, I'll help you out a little bit. Maybe let you know via a ping. Hey, we might need to get some more defenses over here. But he seems to be on top of it. If you look at the map, you can see his field of view. Um, on the top left up there, you see there's a bunch of red. There's massing up a huge army to just attack at once. But hey, look at that. What is that? Probably a stank. So now it's like, well, we got to go destroy this stank. Let's move all my units as much as I can anyways over here. Let's throw down some roaches. Everybody get outside of the wall because that will make it easier to get rid of the stank. The only problem is he wipes out a lot of them right there. So I'm getting another chrono alert. I make a whole bunch of zerglings. I tell them thank you. I tell my roaches focus on that structure. It's almost dead. It doesn't go down, however. The roaches run out of time. I'm like, okay, well, we got to keep going here. Maybe grab whatever we can and just send it out there. You know, just go after them. Kill them. Murder them all. So I'm like, just attack the location. I changed that command a couple of times, though. I'm like, no, no, just go to that building. And then I'm like, oh, maybe just attack that location, actually. Sorry if it's kind of laggy to see. I'm like, okay, everybody, go for it. And I'm like, oh, shoot, wait. Zagara got the Black Plague. How'd she do that? No, not my hero. So now I'm like, hey, buddy, we, we might need some help over here. And then I use Eve to do the mass frenzy. I get Zagara outside. Zagara is kind of stacked against her favor right now. Run, Zagara, run. No, she's dead. But now look, we got a stank. Yay. So excited. Just can't hide it. Copyright, sorry. <laughs> so now everybody just attack over here. I think I hit A a couple times, which is the attack button, which is actually corruptors. So I'm like, ooh, hope I didn't make so. so. That snake's getting hit by a purifier beam, and it's like doing nothing, pretty much. So now all of his structures are down. There's only just two shield batteries and a Caldarian monolith. Thankfully, we just managed to destroy it, and I'm like, hey, dude, you need to start building some defenses, bro, because we're going to need it, like, now. And I'm like, we got to keep pushing. We got to do as much damage as we possibly can, try to keep things going, because if we don't, we're going to end up losing. So let's start splitting up our forces, have one force go to the right, one force go to the bottom left, get a whole bunch more Zerglings, about 24, it looks like, get them all going out there. Let's send out the roaches, do their thing. Start attacking everything. I didn't notice. Maybe I did. Okay, they did get the structure. I was like, maybe they missed the structure. But there is a lurker that's doing massive damage to a lot of them. Wiping them out is pretty bad. So I'm like, I'm running out of minerals. So I'm going to try to type this, but I make some incorrect typing for a little bit because I'm stressed out, you know? I've been out of minerals for almost five minutes, which is not necessarily true because now we're up to 300 again. Now we're back down to zero. I'm like trying to tell my brother, hey, um, we might not win this because I'm running out of minerals. <laughs> Just giving him a heads up. You know, you might need to start actually changing over to an army. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can do this. Like there's a sense of desperation in that statement. <laughs> Oh, there, I do want to talk a little bit about it because the uh, Banelings nest when 
It was a while ago before they fixed it. Sir Lefty, which if you guys don't know him, check him out. I'll try to leave a link in the description as well. If I don't, please let me know. But oh, you can always just YouTube it. It's S E R for Sir and then Lefty. I think there's a space in between. You can also check him out on Twitter too. Shameless self promoting for my buddy, sir. But um, basically, w when him and I would play, um, he would build Banely Nest, and for me, I could only build one Banely Nest after a certain level, because the Banely Nest would automatically spawn Banelings. Well, there was a bug where you could build like 20 Banely Nests, and each one would keep generating more and more Banelings for each. So he'd be able to, we to just get a bunch of units for free, essentially. And I'm like, that's not fair, bro. That's, that's not cool. <laughs> But it was really good because we were able to succeed every single time. But they fixed that bug that's it's been fixed for a long, long time now. This was like almost four or five months ago. I can't remember when exactly. It's been it's been a year, I'll say that. <laughs> I can't believe we're already in August. It's August 5th as of right now. Um, I also wanted to make a brief moment to reward you for staying through this video. I do have something special planned for the one year anniversary of the channel is September 23rd. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up next month. So keep that date in mind, just in case you guys are interested. I figure that's a good way to reward people who watch it all the way through to the end. But uh, back to StarCraft 2, there's a lot of noises going on, a lot of stuff trying to figure out. I think my left ear is having some issues. Hey look, there's two stanks. I, you know that weird, like, high-pitched squeal that you get in your ear? That's what I'm getting right now in my left ear. It's really annoying. So I, I tried to tell my brother without actually telling him, go defend the top, I'll get this one. So it looks like he listened to me, so he went for it. I had the drop just in case, but no, it looks like he's fine. <coughs> Sorry about that, I had a sneeze. Professional YouTuber over here, not really. Ugh. So I'm like, let's just send the rest of the Banelings because they probably have the the infection, the plague. So I'm like, I'm not going to deal with that. Let's go and get them killed off here. And then let's start getting more Banelings because why not? A lot of stuff going on. Top left is getting hit pretty hard according to the alerts. Top right is also getting hit a little bit. Let's keep the keep up the larvae. For anybody playing Zagara or any type of Zerg, Keep up the larvae injection. It's always the best thing that you can do for your armies and for anything in general. You'll be able to get drones really quickly. You'll constantly have a bunch of larvae. Um, with Zagar, the way that it works is you're able to keep a bunch. I think it's per... Oh, at this point, I'm like, hopefully one more day and we'll be done. We're, we're good. Hopefully. Um, the way that Zagara's queens work is you tell them to do that, and when it spawns, it doesn't just spawn four larvae like it usually does. It actually does eight. So now we got another stank in the top right. Let's go up there, throw down some roaches. Oh, look at that. There's a second stank in the same area as well as a choker. And I'm like, hey, bro, uh, could use some help here. But he also looks a little distracted at the bottom left if you look down there. So I'm like, at the time, I'm like, dude, we, I need some help. Hey. Need some, need some help up here, bro. Hey, dude. Hey, help. Oh, there he is. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, um, th thanks. Thanks for the help after the fact, but it's all good. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's new. Mineral field depleted. What? So I'm letting her know, hey, minerals are being depleted, bro. That's all good. It's also new to me, because I've actually never had that happen on this mission before. To my recollection. So don't hold that against me. Like, I don't really quite remember it. Now there's a Mutalist just slowly killing my units. Let's just go straight for the buildings here. And try to kill off as much as we possibly can here. I'm like, let's get Zagara in here, because we're going to need her in a little bit. Try to push this last little bit on before the day ends here. Yep. So let's just spend another 1,500 minerals on every single larva that we have possible and just run down here with over 123 units. Two of which are overseers. So I'm like, let's move my, my overseers back. Keep them on group two. We'll have Zagara go. But we'll be careful with Zagara because I don't want her to get the plague. Even if she did at this point, it, it doesn't matter. 
Let him know. Thank you for doing Chrono. Let's do the speed uh, mass frenzy thing again. Let's go after the Mutalist that has Black Plague. He goes uh, back over there. Do you have any Vespin? Well, I mean, 5,000. So I'm letting him know I what I need is minerals, but that didn't answer his question. To answer your question, little bro, I got 5,000 min or Vespin gas, which is ridiculous. So now let's just go ahead and just push this. I'm like, oh, wait, there's Hunter Killers with Plague. Don't, don't want that. Try to keep Zagara healthy here. Then this Hydralisk actually has the plague, but thankfully nothing got infected. The Overseers are fine, Zagara's fine. Let's just keep going here. We got 20 seconds left. Come on, we have six, five structures, four structures. Let's do this. Three structures, two structures. Right there is the last two. Let's do this. Oh, my throat just cracked. Sorry. GG. Phew. <laughs> We barely did it. And uh, just to show you guys, first win of the day, probably the first uh, practice run as well. Maybe it's just my headphones. I don't, I don't know what that noise is in my left ear. But anyways, so mission experience bonus, first win of the day, weekly mutation bounty, and difficulty gives you 239,000. I also got medium and casual difficulty of mutations, 150. That means I've done 150 mutations on casual or normal, but this was on brutal. So that is going to call this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I just wanted to just kind of show off what we've been up to and uh, mutation mission and all that fun stuff. It's, it has been a lot of fun, but who knows? We'll, we'll see how things go in the future. The video is actually about to end in loop again. Wait for it. There it goes. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. I really do appreciate you guys. Uh, for watching this and sharing um, if you guys enjoyed this please leave a like down below let me know what other mutation missions you can do a custom thing if i quickly i'll have to do this in the editing process as well at the very end you can see it says missions mutation and custom so we can actually do some stuff with that if you guys would like to see some custom stuff let me know i'd be more than happy in doing that for you guys uh, maybe comment what compositions or mutation challenges like do speed freaks with black plague with fear with uh what are some of the other ones wow slim pickings some some of the other ones too i'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go check out all the mutations that they have to offer um, let me know what combinations you would like to see because i'm kind of interested in trying to do those as well don't pick something insane by the way I, I know some of you are like do 20 mutations at once that's almost impossible that's like the fnaf 2020 2020 thing i can't do something like that my brain stops after about five minutes of it but anyways thank you guys for watching this video and i'll catch all in the next one cheers and just so you know it is my left ear it's ringing really badly i'm gonna go get something to eat or something i don't know what's going on with it i'll get it fine it's, it's fine i'm fine thank you for watching this video click on the annotations to watch more videos or mobile users you can find the video links in the description if you want to be notified of more videos like this please subscribe by clicking the channel icon Thanks again and have a great day.